Welcome to Cisco Packet Tracer. In this video, we will investigate the structured cabling features in Packet Tracer. Physically connecting devices to your network is not hard if you know where to make the connections. Organizations typically have a physical topology that maps the connections from each device to the wiring closet. In Packet Tracer, two device types are available for structured cabling, patch panels and wall mounts. First, Let's install a patch panel in the wiring closet. I'm going to zoom in a couple of times. In the device type selection box, I click connections and then structured cabling. Notice that there are two patch panels and two wall mounts available, one each for copper and fiber. Let's add a copper patch panel to the rack. The patch panel provides a location to organize the cables coming into the wiring closet from the office. We need to attach a cable from the switch to the patch panel, but first, let's refer to this simple map. Notice that the ports on the switch are mapped to jacks on the patch panel. Let's connect a copper cable between port 13 on the switch and jack 13 on the patch panel. We could connect the rest of the cables but one cable is sufficient for our purposes in this video. Notice that the cable color is currently green, which is Packet Tracer's default color for a copper straight through cable. In large organizations, different colored cables are often used to distinguish their connection types. Let's change the patch cable color to yellow to distinguish it from the green cable running to the server. To do this, right click on the cable and choose color cable. Notice how the cables are dangling in the wiring closet. To organize the cables, click anywhere in the white space of the rack and choose Manage All Cables on Rack. Let's go back to the office. Outside the wiring closet, you typically install wall mounts to connect your cable devices. From the Structured Cabling selection box, let's click a copper wall mount and install it on the wall next to the window. Now we need to connect a cable run between the wall mount and the patch panel in the wiring closet. Click Connections and then a copper straight through cable. Connect the cable to a punch down on the wall mount. We'll use punch down 1. And then connect the other end of the cable to punch down 13 on the patch panel in the wiring closet. Now let's connect the Office User PC to jack 1 on the wall mount. Of course, you would not run a cable across the top of desks like this. Packet Tracer provides a way to simulate better cable management by allowing you to add bends to the cable. Right-click on a cable and choose Create Bend Point. To delete a bend point, select the Delete tool and click the bend point you want to delete. Click a bend point and drag it to where you want the cable to run. You can add as many bend points as you need to run the cable to the wiring closet. You can also do the same thing for the cable run from the PC to the wall mount. Have fun exploring structured cabling and packet tracer.